Welcome friends to another Wheel of Time video. We're going to ask, who is the Dark One, Balsamon? How did he get that title? Is he not sealed in his prison? Spoilers for the Wheel of Time books throughout. Let's get straight into it. The short answer is no. He was a man called Elan Morin Tedrani, a man of books. He wrote them and was a philosopher and a theologian. That means a person who has read and studied religious thought and ideas. Amongst the books he wrote, they could only be understood by a small number of people with specialised knowledge. During the Age of Legends, a group of male and female Aes Sedai drilled into the boar, thinking it contained a new source of energy, but it was the Dark One's prison. Ilan found out this, had happened and he came up with a theory. The war between the soul of the Dragon Reborn, Louis Therrin, and the Dark One had begun at the start of time and the battle kept being fought again and again as time passed in the Wheel of Time. This theory is based on the idea that due to the wheel's cycle, the Dark One would get an infinite number of chances to escape from his prison Therefore, humanity would have to keep fighting off the Dark One as long as the wheel existed and that a victory for humanity would inevitably just lead to another battle. But the Dark One need win only once and that victory would be the last one as humanity could not combat him once he became free of his prison. What Alan failed to realise was that every battle between light and dark had been fought over the ages and the shadow had never been able to escape but in line with his beliefs he became the first Aes Sedai to declare for the shadow. He must have believed strongly in his theory as at a meeting of the Aes Sedai he informed them of his allegiance and his announcement caused riots and this is when he first took on a new name. His name was Ishmael, betrayer of hope, allied with the shadow he came to believe that he was part of the eternal conflict between the Dark One and the Dragon, and he became the Dark One's champion. His soul and that of the Dragon were often spun into the weave of the wheel together, and so he would return. It is not known exactly how this came to be. He played a role in the War of Power with the Dragon Reborn Luz Therin. We will cover that in another video to give it the detail it deserves. When the Dark One is sealed away, Ishmael is only partly sealed behind it, and so he continues to re-emerge in different ages, always allied to the Dark One and the Dark One's agenda. This process slowly drives him mad, and so he starts to call himself Balsamon, the heart of the Dark in the Trolloc tongue, and he is widely believed to be the Dark One himself, and this is how we find him at the start of the books. The seals are weakening, and so he is released permanently from the Dark One's prison. Now friends, I turn this over to you. What do you think to this tale of the Dark One? What do you think drove him mad? His use of the true power, or being reborn so many times? Have you encountered a young man called Ilan? Comment down below.